Okay, hello and welcome. I'll be showing you how to model this simple wall clock. Okay, so here what we have, you have the body, midi plus, the texture for that, and oh, don't forget about the battery. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna press Control and General. Okay, to make a new one. So here we are with the power of the default cube. I'm gonna press N. I'm gonna enable my screencast so you know what I'm clicking and what I'm typing. Okay, there we go. Now you see that, right? So let's uh, delete unwanted, such as the cube because we don't use that. And uh, light, we can just hide it, and the camera just hide it. Okay, press one to go to front view, front to graphic. Okay, now let's make the body. Shift A to make. The body I'm gonna use it's up to you what you want to use you can use a circle or you can use the cylinder okay I'm gonna use the cylinder press R X 90 degree which mean rotate from the X okay X axis now let's go to edit mode pressing tab scale to the Y and something that thickness would do okay now, if you want to delete the behind here, this is the front, okay, this is the front and this is the behind, okay. If you want to delete this uh, behind, also fine, it's up to you. I'm going to delete that later. I'm going to press this one, front first, I to insert, E to the Y. Just something like, just like that, okay. And this one, I don't need it delete the face okay we can uh, cover this up later so yeah here we go now we get that basic body shape of the uh, of the clock now let's duplicate this one not duplicate or you can just duplicate too if you want for me i'm gonna press y so when i press y it actually uh cutting this and it turns separate okay when I press go to edit mode, when I press uh, P to lose part, it becomes two. Okay, that's because I've cut this one and this one. Okay, by pressing the Y. All right, so this is gonna be the the texture, and let's bring it behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, Get this one. Uh, control alt to loop cut make sure you edit mode control alt add loop cut mm, this over there would do okay and just press f to fill see there we go now you get that basic shape and let's make the battery shift a to add uh, i actually use the plane with hit x the degree press one Okay, that's front view. That's not what we need, but we need it to scale it like this. Okay, scale it a little bit to Y, I mean to the X, and press 3. Enable this one, the X ray. Can you see the line over there? If you can see, then you, it would be easy for you to align the battery path. Okay, grab that to the Y. Would be easier if you can uh, see at the um, press E to the Y. Okay, this is same as solidify. I'm just extruding. Press three again. Let me see. A select mall and move it a little bit back. Yeah, over there. That would do. Now I'm gonna turn this X ray off. Okay, let me zoom that over there. Alright, that that's that's okay. okay. Now let's make this a little bit G to the Y, a little bit thicker, because battery are ticks in mean battery box and the machine. Okay, now I'm gonna go to here now because this I have one, two, three, how many is the random object here? So I'm gonna go to here and select random. Now I can see my different subject okay so i'm gonna go to this one grab that to the y 
Actually, it's easier if you do this one first. Let's get that to the X, to the Y. That's way too long. A little bit to the Y. Yeah, yes, so that would do. Just a little bit over there. All right, we got the battery. Nope, not done yet. We're not done yet. Add some loop cuts. Scale that to the Z. Make it bigger. And first, we're gonna go. Go to, or go to A object mode. Control A. Make sure to select Control A and apply the scale. Apply the scale first, okay? Before you make this one, the insert one. Okay. Here we go. E. The Y. Yeah. And press I again. Insert. Not that this is uh, quite lazy, a little bit lazy way, but this is a good start point if you complete your beginner. Okay. There we got. We got a battery over over there. I mean, battery back. Yeah. Okay. Now let's make the front now. We're done with the back. Okay, let's go to shading. All right, let's paint this one. Uh, oh, go to here. Paint this one. I'm gonna go with black. It's um roughness. It's a specular. Oh, one thing I want to do. I'm gonna add some subdivision surface on it. Just set to two. All right. Once you're satisfied with it, apply. All right. And don't forget to shade smooth. Make sure you select the right object. Okay. Shade smooth. Now that's going to be a problem over there, but that is a, that is as easily to fix. Let's go to here. Normal. Enable all the smooth, and it, sh it should gone. Now let's make the front. Okay, for this one, you want to make the number, I mean, 12, 3, or something like that. If you want to do that, it's way better. Use a texture, okay? You make your own texture and it should, it should be easy for you, okay? So I've downloaded a new other texture. I'm going to go to here now. I mean, let's make that. Shift A to add. Shader. Uh, not shader, texture. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, image texture color to the base color. Okay, now it turns black because we don't have any texture. Let's open a new one. Press open. Find your texture. And I'm going to use this one. All right, now note that it turns like that because we need to adjust a uh, UV. Okay, go to the UV editing. Now go to here, make sure so I can see. Oh, press one, so I can see this one. All right now, select, and because it turns like that, this is what actually the size of your of your circle. Okay, so I'm gonna press A. Make sure your mouse is over here, not over here. Okay, over here. Press A. Scale. Press S to scale, and you can see that it makes some adjustment over there. Scale it again. Till you get something that you're liking. Grab that to the X maybe a little bit. If you want to be precise, turn the snap to on. Okay, where is it? Uh, I don't see. It. Oh, there, there you go. That one. Or you can, if you, if you want to set over here, go to here. Okay. If this one, go to here. But I'm not. I'm just gonna do it manually. All right. Something like. Yeah, let the scale a little bit. Grab that a little bit to the X. Mm, it's not kind of straight. Still not straight. Ah, I think I like that one. Okay. Once you're done, select this. Press select anywhere, and back to your shading. All right. Here we go. Now we got our basic shape for the Let's paint this one. For this one, I'm just gonna get lazy. <laughs> yes, lazy. It's not lazy, but it's a good start point, okay? Just gonna set it to black. 
not metal up reduce the specular and the roughness up because this is not metal okay this one is the metal here we go look at that we got our clock over there one thing that i forgot to make let's go back to layout mode go to here press one is the pointer okay so i'm gonna use a to make that i'm gonna use a cylinder rotate x 90 degree scale press one now scale and scale again mm, no need to no need to follow that dot over there All right grab that to the y all right something that distance would do the paint that later and shade smooth go to here the normal and all the normal all the smooth okay now to make the point it's going to be very easy i actually just using the plane with that x and degree scale that to the z all right scale that to the x oh scale that to the x scale it again Okay, let the X grab that to the X over there. Okay. Now, if you want to move it like that, set the origin to the 3D cursor. Okay. This is the 3D cursor. That something that aiming stuff over there. That is the 3D cursor. Okay. Let's move that a little bit to the front. Here we go. Grab it. In. all right yeah there we do rotate now oh rotate it to the y mm, something like that anyway you want okay press one now and let's duplicate shift d to duplicate rotate that i mean not that y but there all right there we go and go to edit mode now go to edge select and this one we're gonna make this one shorter. Press GG. There we do. And select all. Nope. Grab that. Go to edit mode. Go to I mean object mode. Let's see now. Oh. A little bit. Yeah, that would do. Press one. And look at that. But it's white. We don't want white. And last one. We want to make the uh, the seconds. I think it's the seconds. Yes, it's seconds. Let's du again duplicate. Shift D to duplicate. Grab that over there. Alright. Here we go. Rotate that over to the, to the Y. Alright. Now I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Select that one, scale. Just scale it, okay? There we do. Oh, that's gonna be the point. I mean the second. All right. Now let's back to here and paint this. New. Uh, no. Oh, no. Go with this. Just go to black like that. I don't wanna adjust that one. Then this one. Oh, this one, the material four, and this one I'm gonna paint it as a red. No need to adjust this one, okay? If you want, it's up to you. Look at that, and this one I'm gonna turn it into gold. Something like that, metallic, with specular and the roughness. Okay. Look at that guys look at that that's your clock over there ah uh, one last thing the glass in the front okay that's gonna be very easy i'm just using this this one actually the texture shift it to duplicate grab that to the y just a little bit maybe if you want you can scale it a little bit but i'm not gonna scale it and this one I'm gonna delete texture, delete one, and set new. 
all right if you want it to be glass you can set it to glass but i rather just use like this one just reduce the alpha all right nothing's happening that's because it didn't work on ev it only works on circle okay so go to here ev and circles okay see now it works you can see it let's bring it there bring the light and bring this one where's the light where is it there you go grab that to the y oh where is oh grab that to the z grab that there go there grab it to the y okay here we are look at that Where's the glass? Oh, that's the glass. Grab that. That's the glass over there. And look at that, guys. That's how you model a wall clock. Simple, right? There are, there are other ways as well, which is maybe simpler than this. So it's up to you which one you want to follow. It's completely fine, okay? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye now.